Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 29th video in VCP8 Data Center Virtualization 2023 and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine clone on VMware vSphere vCenter Server 8. So why you need a clone? So let's say <coughs> if you are doing any activity, uh, uh, may maybe you are upgrading operating system or you are upgrading <coughs> any server uh, server related application or anything where you want to have a uh, you want to make sure in case anything goes wrong with the, your current server you have a backup image or backup virtual machine or you can say the same same image uh, same, same Im, uh, virtual machine which you can power on and bring in the production without impacting any anything so uh, <clears throat> so uh, you can create a clones of the uh, virtual machine and let's say if you if you have a one virtual machine if you get a, if and if you get a request to create a multiple virtual machine from say as uh, at same the current machine then you can create a clone of virtual machine and you can spin n number of uh, instance or n number of new servers or virtual machine with the cloned virtual machine so uh, those are the use cases where you can uh, clone the virtual machine as per your requirement so <clears throat> so uh, uh, we'll do this activity uh, in demo environment so this is our environment for this video so i got my uh, domain controller which is running labs and so on dot lan on windows server 2022 and then i got a uh, my vCenter server, we got uh, four ESXi hosts. So this is our environment. So you can see I'm running this virtual environment on VMware workstation and I got four ESXi hosts running here with 32 gig of memory, one ISKC server, which is providing storage to our ISKC servers, uh, from ISKC servers to ESXi hosts. And then we got four ESXi hosts, one cluster, and this is my virtual machine. So, which we are going to clone in this video. So, clone can be done in both running uh, hot clone, which is basically virtual machine is in running state and you can clone it. And co cold clone means the virtual machine is powered off or shut down and you can clone it. So, in this video, I'm going to run a... Uh, uh, power of clone which is going to be cold clone so it's always recommended to uh, do a cloning while the virtual machine is powered off so <clears throat> so this is uh, my recommendation also if you have a production virtual machine running something and you, you want to clone that virtual machine take some downtime and get the machine cloned and once the machine is cloned you can power on the source machine and all so i'm going to clone it so I'm going to give, give the name of this virtual machine. Let's say win to K19 VM1 underscore. Let's call it clone. Next. And you need to select the <coughs> compute resource and then storage resource. So it will take some time to do validation. Then you will get all the options if you have multiple cluster you can select the different cluster as well during the uh, creation of clone if you have a if you want to create in same cluster you can go ahead and do it there also the storage i'm going to select my storage cluster and then click next well uh, compatibility check succeeded so click next and these are the advanced settings if you want wish to do these all settings uh, you can do it i'm going to not do any advanced customization just finish the clone so we'll have two virtual machine so now you will see source virtual machine name new clone virtual machine name and this is going to be data store and just click on finish so now this will start the cloning of this virtual machine so you can say uh, see the virtual machine is clone virtual machine is already created and status you can see 30 39 percent uh, copying virtual machines file so it, it does the back in the back end it does the copy of the all virtual machine um, related files and the structure and then you will see if you go on the data store you will see here uh, the source and the new data new folder is also created and it's doing the copy of the 
clone of the disk here you can see so it's going to take some time depending on what is the your infrastructure uh, bandwidth uh, for the cloning and read write data and everything it's depend on multiple factor and what is the size of your virtual machine and all so <clears throat> i'm going to pause the recording once the cloning is finished i'll resume from there so now the clone has been completed so now you will see uh, if i go again you will see all the files are created here and vram vmdk vmx file everything is there so now you can see this vm is also created you can go ahead and power on if you want so <clears throat> just uh, make sure whenever you are powering up clone machine or existing machine together you should disconnect the network so it cannot create ip conflict in, in your environment so i disconnect the network and i am also going to power on the uh, source machine so just wanted to validate things are good so we are able to power on this machine so <clears throat> the basic agenda for this video to show you how you can clone the machine uh, this is the very simple step uh, just right click and go to clone and clone the virtual machine and when you clone to virtual machine you have a option to clone to template also clone to virtual machine so as per your requirement you can clone a thing now you can see the machine is powered on so this is good this is all about how uh, all about creating virtual machines clone so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye